folks, welcome to Yada Belly's Kitchen. I want you to join my wifey today as she prepares a very, very delicious dish. And of course, it's one of our favorite. We don't get to do it a lot because, you know, but when we do, we totally enjoy it. Today, she's making brown stew fish. Yes, guys. Before we run into the video, remember to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all socials at Yardy Belly TV. Big up on yourself now. Remember me tell you. So I'm making some brown stew fish, yes. And normally the first thing I do is to fry the fish, but before I add the fish to the oil, I add, you know, some little seasonings just to flavor the oil. I add a little piece of thyme, some scotch bonnet pepper, and scallions. And I'm going to add a couple pimento seeds. And just allow that to go on permeating. Mm -hmm. I know it's permeating, but my husband's official word is permeating. So we're going to work with permeating. All right. Make the seasoning permeated in the oil. Oh, and I have a little hack over here. So I have in this boiling water some cinnamon, uh, clove, and cardamom. Yeah. So that's just helping. To add a little bit of fragrance to counteract the fish smell in the house so that's something that you might want to try and see if it works for you but it does work for me because it gives it a nice um, aroma and that helps to hold down the fish smell and if you don't have one of these this is a oil guard get you one because I think one of the <laughs> One of the pimento seeds just exploded and it could have been a disaster. So get you one of these. It helps to, to keep the oil from splashing all over the stove and potentially, potentially burning you. So, yeah. So here's the fish, yeah. It was seasoned overnight. And this is just three fish, guys, that was cut up in half. I think one of them was cut in three because it was super huge. Um, yeah, but that's just three fish and all I have on it was just your basic salt and black pepper and then I stuffed the inside with some thyme and garlic for flavor. So once the oil is hot and ready, I'm going to just add them to the pot and allow them to slow fry. I don't want it to get over dark too quick. I want it to be nice and, you know, succulent. So. We're gonna turn the fire all the way down so it can fry slowly. All right, so now the fish is all done and everything is fried. Now it's time for me to turn over to the master chef to make the sauce because he is better at that, in my opinion. These are the ingredients that we're going to use to make our brown stew. I have two different color carrots. I have some garlic, thyme, tum, um, what else up my name? Scallion. Scallion, onion, and tomatoes. All right, so... Let's go. We're going to first and foremost put some oil in our pot and we're just going to put in all our aromatics. All of these things. Three pimento seeds. I had started cutting the, two, the carrots that we had about my switch and julienne them. So, put in the carrots. 
and my tomatoes. Still, I just want these to wilt. And then you start to build on these flavors. Oh, I need a scotch bonnet. So there you have the pepper. I'm not even gonna pull it. I know I'm adding some sugar. And this weird looking sugar that we have here. Organic panela whole sugar cane sugar. If you're from Trinidad, you know what this is, yeah? Our mambo sauce, I'm just gonna add it. It's not necessarily traditional to the dish, but we use it instead of ketchup, or you can use it with ketchup. Have a nice tambrini, spicy, tangy, sweety type of taste. Yeah, and it makes for a very great dish. Got it from a, a, a young lady from Trinidad. All right, and this is I get ready now. I'm add a little water, and then I can put my fish in to this brown stew sauce. All right, so we're gonna add a little bit of our apple cider vinegar. Two caps full because it's supposed to be the brown stew is supposed to be a nice little sweety tangy side of sauce, you know. And then we're gonna add some paprika. Get some colors and some garlic powder. Instead of butter, we add some coconut oil, extra virgin coconut oil, and we're ready for cooking the fish in this. And I've done something good. What is that? Pepperoncini. Pe baby, pe pepper baby? Yeah, baby pepper. And here we have our finished brown stew fish, guys. Served with two dumplings, a piece of yam, lick up green plantain, and some okras. Guys, I promise you, this one was well worth the effort and I would recommend that you try it in your neck of the woods. Yes, you may have variations on brown stew. You all can do it as you want, but I promise you, this one, well worth it. Yadda Belly TV with good food always coming at you. Remember to like, share and subscribe again and tell a friend to log on and tune in to Yadda Belly TV.